ready to get started here. Uh, Broom going with Zero Suit Samus, Yami with Ness. Alright, they've struck to Smashville. Uh, usually one of the two favorites for most starters, uh, Smashville and Battlefield being the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've played both of them. Shoutouts to Battlezone getting us 25% discount on pizza. Let's go. I don't like pizza, but it's okay. <laughs> I, I do. So I might make use of that later. Anyways. Uh, now, Zia, Zia says, a highly offensive character. She does like to uh, get her uh, get uh, opportunities and hit hard. Otherwise, she is very quick, very uh, mobile, able to get out of situations pretty quickly. Her down B, one of the better escape moves in the game, one of the better recoveries in the game. Uh, How is she is that she needs traps. Oh, she's, a, she's good at setting traps. Yeah. Uh, her issue, I guess, is... Uh, Setting up her sa her kills does require her to get, go into a less safe uh, mode of gameplay. She can't kill without without uh, taking risks, and that's where that's where she kind of falters. And uh, the lag, uh, the end lag with the grab is huge. Oh yeah, she so she's if she misses a grab. It's uh, it's disastrous for uh, for the player. Right, but she's a character that's good at making you want to shield. So that that's why her grab game works out. Uh, Ness definitely a very potent character. Li uh, strong kill moves between his back throw and his back air. Overall, a pretty solid character. Ah, oh, he tried to do the down smash and intercept the trajectory with the up B. Yeah. One, of the, one of the flashier ZSS kill methods, but... He should have uh, done it uh, in a reverse way, so he can, he can get, uh, get this while he's fine. Yeah, but it, he started a little too early anyway, so... There it is, down throw up air. Works until very high percents. And as the and as the down throw keeps getting more knockback and getting more hits done, he'll be able to combo off it easier, as, as you just saw. Paralyzer, nice! That, that was pretty slick. I, I like that. That uh, reflecting the paralyzer with the home run bat. I think that uh, I'm back, I'm back throw can kill on my right? Yeah, it, it almost did earlier. From here, it definitely will. The Smashville platform sets up some pretty silly kills. Okay, he's yeah, four throw has a set knockback. Ah, the, you're not that, gonna. That almost got it. The, uh, it's the, it's, the CSS down B is too good to be caught by yeah. PK Flash, to be honest. Yeah, her down smash is all start up, almost no end lag, so that's something that's really weird to fight against. He's trying to trap him into a grab. That was the opportunity, but he he uh, he, the he sold the grab too early. I feel like he just went in, and it was the exact timing his opponent expected him to grab. Ah, uh, see, that was a little bit of adjustment there by Broom. He threw the paralyzer from just outside the range where it dissipates, so that when the home run back comes out, it doesn't hit it. Oh, he got the he got the down tilt trip, but didn't follow up with a tech chase. He could go for a couple of down throw combos here, and that's one of the characters that can follow up his down throw. Oh, that whiff smash! All right, nice with the jabs, knocks him down. Pretty competitive match we have going here. character token and I I don't agree with this. Not that Mario is a bad character, but I don't think his issue in the first game was his character. Yeah, he got hit a lot in the, in the first stuff. That's yeah, I, I think to lose. Yeah, I think it was just an issue of him getting hit too much. I don't think it was an issue of Ness not being the right choice. But then again, he might end up doing better with Mario. I'm just saying I don't think it was a character issue. If he doesn't, it's the... 
you know Mario up you can see what Mario is doing like missing the uh, the angle for the up B getting it in the uh, reverse angle it could happen yeah if you're not careful all right get some of the back end of that down smash that is the stronger side of it something that is new to smash 4 all right he's definitely started off a lot stronger Mario a very straightforward character a combo machine uh, struggles a bit as far as setting up his kill moves is concerned but it doesn't matter because he plays a pretty strong neutral Qu pretty quick all right yeah he w I think he picked the uh, pick Mario to have a faster projectile launch the fireball does come out much faster than uh, PK fire all right comes out of neutral air Waits it out on the other side, capes the Paralyzer. He seems to be in full control of the neutral right now. You can see right there, holds his own with the Fireball. The Fireball comes out faster than the Paralyzer, so he'll clank with it, and he'll be able to cape it back if he sees it coming. So ZSS is going to have to play inside Mario's range, and depending on, depending on how ZSS approaches, that may be dangerous. Oh, I tried to save Spike him with back air. Oh, gets caught on the, his... Our ledge get up there. He's doing better in the first suck than the first match. Yeah, he's being more careful, but he's been grabbed a couple times already after gaining a huge percent lead. These are the situations Mario... I find Mario to be kind of, uh, funny enough, the Marth of Smash 4, and that he racks up damage really easily, and he can kill you early if he gets it right. Yeah. But if he doesn't, he can struggle at the higher percents to find his kill opportunity until he lands, say, something like a back throw, or reads with a smash. Um... I think he has a lot of opportunities to kill with the up smash and the well spaced forward smash. Yeah, but he has to read with those. That's the thing. Is he can, he doesn't set up into them very easily. Once he once he gets the high percent, his combos start to push you far, so he has to space you for it, and that gets risky for him. He can still play it safe and try to kill with something like back air, but then he'll take much longer. The forward air is a really cool, cool option as well. It's a good spike, yeah. Uh, a little bit. But it's hard to get it on uh, Zero Suit Samus with her uh, down B. Yeah, edge guarding ZSS in general is tricky just because of the down B. She, it's the invincibility on it, very tricky to deal with. Up tilts, the broom is working his way back in here. If he gets this stock soon, he's at a decent rage percentage to make it uh, dangerous for Mario on the next stock. If he has the uh, correct up air, up B combo ready. What do you think uh, with, uh, about the rage effect? Are you... I think it works for... It, it works in this game, I feel. I, uh, uh, with it makes you know what I don't know I think it's I think it benefits certain characters more uh, more than others but funny enough the characters that benefit from it the most tend to be characters that aren't that great to begin with in the grand scheme of the game mm -hmm. ah uh, Yami with a with a two stock yeah, if not managing to close it out so, so one one uh, the stronger characters still benefit from it. I think as long as every character benefits from it, it's whatever. It doesn't shift things enough to be uh, to be the biggest factor. And in two stock matches, it makes things, uh, from a spectator point of view, sit on that thin hairline all the time. Yeah. Anything can happen. All right. Uh, Broom sticking to uh, ZSS. I don't think he has another character then. If he uh, lost that decisively and still didn't counterpick, believes in the zero suit. There's that up tilt. Uh, he tried to go for it again, didn't read the air dodge. He, ne he needs to start uh, getting more out of his advantage situations. He's been letting Mario step away too easily. There you go. Down smash to up B. Although it might have been better to combo a couple up airs at that percent since up B wasn't going to kill. Couple up tilts. Back airs him onto the platform. Tries to chase with the up air. The Smashville platform, definitely a very dangerous place to be. Can set up a lot of things when he tech chase off of it. JS2D is back. Oh, we got a 1-1 situation here. Yeah, it's Broom and uh, Yami. Uh, Yami went Ness game 1 and lost after taking too much damage on his first stock. Uh, switched to Mario 1 with a 2 stock. Now he's, uh, ro he's still rolling with Mario in a much more even game 3. Nice interception with the back air there on the ledge jump. Um, oh, the down air, I didn't like that. Zero suit. The, the other players switched to stayed zero suit the entire game? No, he, uh, yeah, Broom has been ZSS the whole time. Uh, that was a down smash to up B, typical ZSS finisher combination. Yeah, that's true. 
Really upbeat combos from so much, you know, Zero sets have so many options when it comes to killing people with that upbeat. Yeah, that's that's kind of where the character thrives. Her neutral is kind of she's quick. She's pretty good in neutral. She's pretty good, but uh, against Mario, uh, she has to deal with the fireball and she has to deal with the cape. So uh, spacing with paralyzer can get tricky for her. She has to utilize her speed more. Oh, that fall speed. Helping out Mario. He went for the up smash, thought the thought he was gonna air dodge, but didn't quite pan out. It, that, that happened the previous time, that's why he uh, uh that, that's why he went for it this time. It's nice to see players picking up on their opponent's habits. Yeah, it's been a pretty kill close and contested match. Ooh, that that, that fastball neutral air could have been disastrous. No, that could have been pretty bad. It would have been an unfortunate end for this game. Yeah. After all the oh, hard work, Yami yeah, has been Several gears, and it wasn't in top gear throughout the.